Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at continuing with our ideas of indices and moving them on to both fractional and negative powers. So I really what I want to do in these videos is to really make you comfortable with the methods that you can employ in order to simplify down uh, anything of this order without just plugging it straight into a calculator. Really, you need to understand what these indices are doing. Okay, so the more you do practice this by hand rather than with a calculator, the more you're going to understand it. So we're going to start off with 125 to the power of one third. Now, in the previous videos when we were looking at the laws of indices, if you have something, so let's say the number A, um, sorry, to the power of 1 over n, then this is the nth root of A. Okay? And so, 125 to the third is the third root of 125, the cube root of 125, which you should know is 5. Okay? So that's the first one sorted. So 1 third is a cube root. But now we've got 25 to the 3 halves. Now, if I was thinking of this, well, okay, well, is that the 3 halves root? Um, well, not quite. What you've got to think of here is using one of the laws that said, well, this is 25 to the half cubed, because 3 halves is the same as 1 half times 3. Or, you could have seen this as 25 cubed to the half, because 3 times a half is the same as a half times 3, okay? And both get you 3 halves. Now, which of these is going to be easier to work with? Well, I don't particularly want to find out what 25 cubed is. I can't do that easily in my head. But I do know what 25 to the half is because that's the square root of 25. Because we saw that a third was a cube root, so a half is a square root. So 25, the square root of that is 5, so that's 5 cubed, which is 125. You can go about it the other way, it's just a little bit more tricky that way. Both are equivalent, however. Now we're looking at this one, this 32 to the minus 3 fifths. Now, another one of those laws that we looked at said that a to the minus 1 was 1 over a. And so the negative in the index flips uh, the number. Okay, so we've currently got 32 over 1, so it's going to flip it to 1 over 32. So this is the same as 1 over 32 to the power of 3 fifths. Okay, so that is an equivalent move. Now, we've got a similar problem to have the previous problem. Now, I could either cube this first or find the fifth root first. And it's probably going to be easier to find the fifth root. So this is the fifth root of the top, over the fifth root of the bottom, cubed. Because remember, three times one fifth is three fifths. Now, I've put it the one fifth here just for the sake of it, okay, just to show you that you are doing the fifth root to top and bottom, but we know that one to the one fifth is just going to be one anyway. Or well, the fifth root of 1 is just 1. So, we've got the fifth root of 32 on the bottom, which is 2. So this is 1 half, all cubed, which is 1 eighth. Okay, so that is how we can do it step by step. So, I start off with the negative sign. Then I deal with the denominator and then I deal with the numerator. Okay, that's probably one of the easiest processes to go through. So we're going to start off in this example by dealing with the negative sign. Now we know that that flips the fraction much as it did 32 to 1 over 32, so that flips the fraction to 27 over 8, all to the 2 thirds. Well now we do the, the 
denominator first. So we're going to find the cube root of the top over the cube root of the bottom and then square our answer because one third times two is two thirds. So the cube root of 27 is three. The cube root of eight is two. So this is three halves squared which is 9 over 4. Okay, so I've gone through the steps, negative first, then I deal with the denominator, then I deal with the numerator. It keeps the numbers as nice as they possibly can be in any kind of example. Um, it's unlikely that you'll be given a question like this to evaluate something like that because you can just plug it straight into a calculator. However, this practice really will help you in understanding how the indices change the uh, problem that you're considering.